Today we're going to show you how to create an automatic table of contents. I have a multi-page document and I can see down here in the status bar that I have over a thousand words and I have four pages in this document. My document contains some headings that are in English but you can see that the rest of the document contains words that are actually Latin and that's used in desktop publishing so that we can focus on the format of the document and not be distracted by what the document actually says. So you may see some examples where you have a document that just contains this kind of nonsense text. What I'm going to do is in order to create a table of contents I can have that generated automatically by Word by actually creating headings in each of my paragraphs first. So I have the introduction, I'm going to select the title for introduction and I can move to the styles group in the home tab and one of the ones that I can see right away is called heading one and I can of course click on the drop down list and I can see that there are a number of other headings to choose from or other styles. I'm going to choose heading one and it applies to that text. Now I'm going to scroll down and find some other headings in my document. Background, I don't actually even have to select it, I can just place my cursor beside the word and the background is going to be heading 2. Team members is going to be heading 3. Human resources is heading 1. Payroll is also heading 1. And then under payment schedule it's a heading 2. Vacation time is a heading 2. And I also have training and development which is heading 1. And benefits which is heading 1. Now it really doesn't matter which headings I chose, but in this case I wanted to show you what it looks like when I create a table of contents that has different headings and different indentations. Now that I have the document properly formatted, what I need to do is I need to place my cursor at the beginning of the document so I can tell Word where to insert my table of contents. So I place my cursor at the beginning of the document, and now that my document is properly laid out with proper headings, I can have it automatically generate this table of contents. I simply go to the References tab, and on the References tab there's a group called Table of Contents. And right here there's a single button that says Table of Contents, and I can choose the type or the format of content, uh, of Table of Contents, and I'll just choose the top one. And I can see that automatically I get a Table of Contents that matches the name of each of the headings with the proper indentings for Heading 1 and Heading 2s and Heading 3s, and I also have page numbering. When you're looking at the Word document, you'll notice that I clicked inside the table of contents. I can also use control click to actually jump me straight to page 3. So I'm going to show you that. Page 3, there's vacation time. And now I can simply scroll back to the top of the page. And I'm done. And I'm very happy with my table of contents. I want to make a few more changes to my document. First, I want to insert a title page. So I go up to the Insert menu. And I, instead of a title page, it's actually called a cover page in Word. So I'm first going to make sure that I, again, am at the top of my document, just above my table of contents. And I'm simply going to click on the Insert tab in the Pages group. There's an option called Cover Page. And you can see that when I click Cover Page, there are a number of settings that I can choose from that are preset. So there are, a number, there are six shown here, but I can just scroll down, find some other nice ones. So I find a cover page that will match the theme or the uh, outlook of my document and for now I'll just choose the one with the nice sunflower on it and it gets inserted in the beginning of my document and you can see that I have some fields that I get to fill in. It's already filled in this word for WLU which is Wilfrid Laurier University and I can type in a field called address so I simply click in those bolded text and I type 75 University Avenue West and then I populate some extra information. I'll just fill in this extra information without having you wait for me. So I've completely filled in the data at the bottom and if I scroll back up to the top you see that there's a field called abstract so I can write out something about the company or about the report maybe and I also have these title, author, and year that I can make changes to. It's neat that I can actually click on the year and I can choose sometime next year or the current year, let's say it was this year, and the t author I'm going to say is actually Rick Henderson, that's my name, and the company overview, let's say that this is the name of the document that we're making. So we've added a nice cover page, and now 
all of my sections are labeled properly in my table of contents. So I'm going to save my document, choose the Office button and choose Save As. And I'm going to save it as a new Office 2007 file format. So I'm going to jump to my iDrive in the CP102 folder and I'm double clicking Word 2. So I've got a Word 2 folder and I'm going to call it Overview Finished. So I'm going to save that and we're done.